Uh, oof. All right, so in this video, we'll be uh, looking at ukulele and the impossible layer, and I'll be giving my impressions and just talk about the game. All right, before we start, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. and on Sunday at 9 a.m. Um, I play all types of games. I'm playing uh, The Last of Us right now, and I'll be probably playing... Um, Overwatch, Apex, different types of games just to take a break from that a little bit um, if I needed to and probably some other Switch games or other Xbox games, something. So you can always check that out in the uh, link in the video description. Uh, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notification on so you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright, so today we are looking at ukulele and the impossible layer. and so this is the cover art or the, you know, the tile art, whatever you guys want to call that. I, I know some people like saying that, so get into the game. This will show you like load times and see how, you know, how long it takes to actually load. Since this is also on the PS4 and the Xbox, the Switch version might be slower. I don't know. Hopefully it's not. I would hope that it's not actually, you know, slower or maybe doesn't feel different. I would like to think that they, uh, most likely, you know, made sure that they feel the same. You can't skip this. You can change, uh, save files, though, in case you want to play it again and maybe, like, try to beat the boss without, um, doing anything. So we'll talk about that first. So in this game, you can actually beat the boss or the final boss as soon as you start playing. The problem is, is that it's very difficult and you have to pretty much not get hit ever. Um, so I don't know if I can warp back to it, but I'll show you at some point, at least on the map, um, where you start. And there's, I like to equate it to Donkey Kong Country Cop Tropical Freeze or the original Donkey Kong Country that type of gameplay where you are playing in 2D space and it kind of goes 3D, which is kind of cool. Um, I didn't play the first ukulele. I need to get that and play it. Um, but I'm looking for it physically, so I'll have to pay a little extra because I didn't get it right as it came out, but that's okay. Um, so in this game, you have an overworld, which is trying to load. I think is why it's taking so long. Hopefully this is faster on PS4 or Xbox. If you have that, on PS4 or Xbox or have a video link that in the video video comments and so that I can look at it or another people can look at it to see if maybe they should pick it up on PlayStation or Xbox all right so here we have the bees that I've actually like rescued and then the queen bee and then this is what I was talking about with the boss so this is automatically enabled I tried six times I haven't completed it at all I'm guessing there's save points between it, but, um, so then you also get these chapter books, which see, there's a, there's a bee that you actually have to, um, claim, and then you get more chances to beat the final boss. And then during the game, each chapter, you just play through, you know, and just have fun with. Then you, uh, collect coins, and that's how you pay some of these walls, like this little wall right here. There's a paywall, um, same with that one. So when you look at the map, there's a paywall right here. So it says, oh, I need 15 coins. So I've got two, I've got to get a lot more coins before I can actually beat it or pay for it. And then I believe these ones are the ones, the open book ones, I think I've played maybe, or I've revisited, because I don't think I played seven, but uh, you have at least visited or the open book ones. And then I think this, is the one that I haven't even visited yet, so the book's not open. Can I warp to these? Yeah, you can. So you can warp to it, that's really cool. Uh, so that you don't have to take too much time, you know, walking around the map. But the map is actually interactive, and you actually have to unlock certain parts by doing different things. So let's see if I can show you an example. So over here, you got these little bushes, and you take these guys, and they have like bombs. And there'll be sections that you just need to do that with. 
there was one over here at one point. Um, and there's different upgrades you can get that are permanent. So let's see if we can look at those. All right, so these are the people you save. I'm guessing this is the all of them, not no other pages. So that's how many chapters there are. There's a lot there. Um, but I think you can get them other ways too. So maybe there's not that many chapters, but that's how many bees you can get. Um, then you got these abilities, and they may, they actually might change your uh, quill um, chance, and you unlock them through quill the quills. So this one actually increases. So googly eyes have possessed every enemy. They can take one extra hit, but at least they look more amusing. That so makes the game harder, but you get more quills because you did that. Then there's ones that make you game easier, but you lose quills because you're using it. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of you can lock out there. You get achievements because, you know, the Switch doesn't have achievements, so they built it in, which is nice. I love that. And then your saves, you got your options, you got your sound. Hopefully the music is not going to get copywritten. Um, let's turn that down for now. Um, the sound effects, uh, speech volume, text scroll, and classic dialoguing enabled. My guess is that you just get the, the classic dialogue rather than like pop up over the head like they do in this game. Um, so you also got controls, which I'm guessing you can, you can't remap. You can just literally turn a rumble on, rumble on and off and that's it. Language, there's the default English and you can change it all. That's cool. And then you get your credits. You can save and continue, which is nice. And then let's go ahead and uh, play through some of the um, chapters so that we can show more of the gameplay. You can do, you can do your tongue. You can shoot your tongue out to try to eat like I showed you before. You got your stomp. You got a hit. And then there's a few other things I think you can do, but let's go into chapter seven. Hopefully no spoilers. I don't think there's much of a story besides trying to beat the boss because he's like stolen all of them. I don't know. Um, so sometimes it can be longer load time, especially on the map, like the, the start map or you know the world map. It can take a little bit, but. For the most part on here, it's not too bad. I'll leave it just how it was. And so we got, I made it dark, I believe, and my eyes just glow up. So there's something I'm missing, so I have to come back around this way, and there's the the ending. So that's where the bee you actually let go, or you know, get out. And I died. That's how good I am at the game. I die a lot. So we gotta wait for that, and then go across. And I'm not sure how I make it across this, unless I can walk on it. Yeah, I can walk on that, so that's cool. And then you beat one of those quills, and you get more quills, which is really cool. And then... There's a lot of uh, things that can kill you in this. So you get to run around and try to kill as much stuff as you can. So there's a little bell because when you get hit, you lose your, your bat or uh, uh, Laylee is I think the bat's name. So I'll get hit by this real quick and see if I can... I don't know how I can get hit. Ah, there you go. So I lost him for now. And you have to go collect him and see. Just like that. And now I can be hit again and I won't die completely. I will just have to try to get him or I only get one more hit. Just trying to get these quills. 
So yeah, catch you catch them pretty quick sometimes because just based off of how uh, the, the map is set up and everything. Dang it! I can't get up there. There you go. Wait for this guy to go by. And it gets a little difficult with like where you have to like roll and then do multiple things like I was just doing. And see, you get stuff like that. And see, he left. So now, if I get hit again, I will die completely. And you collect all these and you get more spells. Oh, I died. So you die and you go back to those robots that you saw before. And that's pretty much the game. Um, I don't want to do too much, you know, draw this video too much by being this map. Because they, they, they do get pretty long, which is nice. There's a lot of content here. And I think it was $40 or so. So you, you get a pretty good amount of content for what it is. And so I get that guy, and then I gotta jump over here, and then I did, got hit again. I'm just gonna go over here. So yeah, I saved right there. Now I can find one of those bells, like I saw earlier, and potentially, um, see yeah, I got the next one, and I died. So that's pretty much the game. Um, so that's pretty much the game. Uh, before you go, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. and on Sunday at 9 a.m. Please come check me out. I'm playing Last of Us right now, and I'll be playing all types of PC, PS4, Xbox, Switch games, all types of games. So it, we can have lots of fun. We can talk about collections. We can talk about pretty much anything. Just come on by, and a you know, link will be in the description for my Twitch channel. Um, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notification on so you get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's see if we can keep this real quick. Uh, I don't know how much of this I'll put in, but I'm sure you guys will hear me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No! Come back. Yeah. Beautiful. So now I can't. Now I have to, Now they're going upside down. That's cool. Thank you guys watching if you watch this afterwards. Sometimes I like adding things after I actually finish the video. <laughs>